What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're just talking about several topics in this video here today. We're talking about Jurassic World Dominion and an extended cut that it has coming out. Stranger Things Season 5, Jeepers Creepers 4, and Terrifier 2. So just to kick it off with Jurassic World Dominion. Jurassic World Dominion is getting an extended cut coming out later this month on August 16th. Colin Trevorrow, who we know directed these recent Jurassic World movies, he had previously explained to the rap that... The prologue from the movie that we know everybody was kind of just not everybody, but a lot of people were disappointed it was cut from the movie. The prologue was cut, and the explanation he explained to the rap was that the prologue was maybe too Malikian for a big summer movie. It was the beginning of the movie, it's the first five minutes of the film. It's something I'm very proud of in our negotiations for how long the movie would be, and it's still a pretty long movie. We realized that it was going to have to go. And then he ended up following up saying that he was certain that it would see the light of day again in some fashion. Now we have reports coming out from the rap once again that this movie is going to be having an extended cut of like an extra 14 minutes and it should include the prologue and some additional new scenes now i was a little bit upset that they cut the prologue only because the prologue was the very first time we got to see the dinosaurs in their habitat before we came to earth in this series so that was a very unique thing to see so i was a little disappointed the prologue was cut so i can't wait to watch the extended cut jurassic world, D world dominion though in and of itself wasn't a very good movie so i don't know how these new extended scenes can help this any further when the biggest issue is the central conflict and it's not really addressing the issues of humans and dinosaurs coexisting when it shifts and tells a narrative about mutant locusts <laughs> um so we'll see how this extended cut goes and if it ends up making the movie better for me so we'll see how that goes just to switch to stranger things 5 stranger things season 4 we know just recently came to a close and it looks like the writer's room for stranger things season 5 has already kicked off we know season 5 will be the fifth and final season of the long-running netflix hit tv series that started back in 2016 the duffer brothers look like they're ready to say goodbye to the hawkins and we know there's some spinoffs coming and Honestly, though, me personally, knowing how I've been watching this show since day one, whenever season five comes, I don't think I'll be able to just binge right through that, knowing that it's going to be the very last season. I am really excited for it. I'm excited to see all these loose ends from season four tied in because we found out who was responsible for all this. The character named Vecna that was introduced to us in season four. So here's an image that was shared over by the official Stranger Things Twitter page because it was retweeted of day one in the writer's room. And you here you see the Stranger Things logo with the five with the signature five that how you know they have the, the the signature logo with the numbers behind them now for the seasons it's representing so they're well underway on what they're doing or going off brainstorming and then going to flesh out the scripts david harbour i believe has already stated that they will start filming in early 2023 sometime so hopefully we'll get it by 2024 the final season honestly the most important thing to me and maybe many of you is what is going on with max is she alive she, well we know she's alive she's in a coma and essentially what they're going to do is assess some of the dialogue with vecna and how vecna takes people's souls so what 11 will have to do is go into a battle with vecna once again defeat vecna and max's soul can return to her body because we know she tried to retrieve max or try to get max at the end while she was in her coma and it was empty because she's with vecna i assume so i'm very excited for season five of stranger things and i can't wait to see how this all wraps up because it's been a great ride now we need to talk about Terrifier 2. Terrifier 2 is supposed to have its world premiere out at Fright Fest later this month as well. We know Damien Leone has been hyping this movie up and the project has been something a lot of people have been waiting for since that original movie dropped in 2016. Uh, there's actually been an initial reaction though that's come out from a fan who I guess has managed to watch an early cut of the film and they seem to be more than satisfied with it. Uh, I'll get into it when it pops up on the screen. But yeah, it's supposed to have a premiere at Fright Fest later this year, later this month. So we'll hopefully have some other reaction besides this one. But they said, hey, guys, send it. Damien Leon posted on his Instagram story. He said, just wanted to drop you a line and say, I watched Terrify 2 a couple of nights ago now, and I'm still picking my job off the floor. Damien, you have done yourself. You've outdone yourself, man. I feel like I was right back in the 80s as a teenager watching a forbidden film with my folks while my folks were asleep. Love the scale, the fun factor, and the genuine dread when art was on screen. David Howard Thornton, who seems like the nicest man alive, by the way, is pure nightmare feeling this. Also, I'm heaping tons of praise on, on you here because I feel, felt the love of, for old school Nightmare on Elm Street movies, in particular Dream Warriors and The Dream Child. Big congrats, you guys. It was even better than I hoped it would be. Now, 
Terrifier 2, again, that's something I'm looking forward to. We know Bloody Disgusting is helping release this later this year in theaters and through their streaming platform, Screenbox. I'll have a review for it up on the channel later. I really am excited to see what goes down, how David Howden Thorne maybe kicks it up a notch as Art the Clown, and what this epic conclusion is going to be, or this game-changing battle that's coming that's been teased by one of the producers as far as like how it ups the ante from what we've already seen in the craziness that unfolded in that original movie. So going into Jeepers Creepers 4, Jeepers Creepers 4, there are some other new images that I'm going to have coming across the screen here while I talk about this last theory of mine regarding this upcoming movie. Tickets are supposed to go on sale for the movie tomorrow. I know a lot of you have already bought your tickets, but yes, August 12th is when I guess tickets for AMC and other places will start to open up. So as you see in one of the thumbnails, will Lane, who you see here on your screen, have visions of Derry Jenner? Derry Jenner, who we know starred in Jeepers Creepers 1, played by Justin Long, not starred, but was a character in Jeepers Creepers 1, portrayed by Justin Long. He appeared again in Jeepers Creepers 2 via Vision through Minxie. We know that the character of Lane is expected to have premonitions about the Creeper and the town's history. And we know that there's a voodoo doll that we've already been seeing that is clearly something in the model of Derry, one of the Creeper's victims. I'm wondering if they will somehow manage to have Derry appear through a premonition through Lane. And I'm not saying Justin Long will be the one you see, but they could maybe do it in a way that keeps him shrouded in darkness. Maybe there's a lot, maybe some sim maybe some notice noticeable things that you'll pick up on, like a shirt and his jeans, but you won't get to see his face because it's clearly not going to be Justin Long. I'm just thinking of how they might factor in Derry here again, and if he, could, if he could be a mouthpiece to help Lane when she gets taken by the Creeper before Chase and the others arrive to save her in time. Um, Jeepers Creepers 4, again, the tickets are supposed to go on sale this week, tomorrow, August 12th. If you've already bought your tickets, let me know if you have, and if you haven't, if you plan on going to see this movie when it releases. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.